I'm free from living lies Free from my own deception Headed the right direction I walked through the fields of mud I thought I'd find a shelter in you A perfect sky Doors open, doors close in my heart again. Wonder how long it'll take till I kill the pain. All right, welcome back to American Adventure Lab. I apologize on the delay releasing this video, but I have good reason for that. We've actually moved to southwestern Utah. So much for my co driver tonight. In half a mile, at the traffic circle, take the second exit and stay on Arizona 264 West. And that's taken quite a bit of time. I've made probably, I think I made five trips back and forth from here to Alabama. Three of those were in Penske trucks. So that was no fun. But I'm here now, we have the family here, we have all the shop stuff here in a brand new shop that we got access to about two months ago. It's taken quite a while to get that stuff organized and get everything set up and somewhat of a workflow created. Office is set up and going, so all the CAD is, is flowing. We've got parts being generated, prototypes coming in and out all the time. And I'm excited to finally be in a place where I feel like I can get this stuff done. Got a lot of product ideas floating around in my head. I'm eager to get those out. So speaking of product, the first one I want to show you is right here. This is our modular storage platform for the backs of SUVs. So right now this is in the back of the Jeep JL. Uh, I'll have it out for the JK pretty soon. So the real concept here is that you start out with a, a very sturdy platform that bolts into the bottom of the, the back of the vehicle. So it's made out of uh, eighth inch aluminum. Everything is fiber laser cut for extreme precision. Uh, very happy with how that's coming out. Everything is 100% repeatable. Uh, the guys are doing a great job getting those parts to us. Uh, so once you get your platform installed, the cool thing is you get to buy whatever accessories you need. So on the bottom here, this is a six inch drawer. On the top is a three inch drawer. And over on the left hand side, we have a cooler slider. So all the parts, all the accessories are made out of eighth inch aluminum. So everything is extremely high quality, extremely durable, very heavy made. Uh, the drawer sliders hold 500 pounds. It'd be tough to get 500 pounds in these drawers, uh, but if you needed to, you'd be able to do that. So the drawers lock in and out. So you don't have to worry about parking on a hill and your drawer is constantly closing. And if you notice, they have a very solid feel. You know, there's, there's nothing moving around. Everything's nice and tight. Also on the top of your, whatever your highest accessory is, you have the ability to do tie downs as well. So these are standard, just off the shelf l track connectors. You can get these from Max Tie Downs, who is also doing a strap kit for us. Uh, they have the l track connector sewn directly into the straps. So he's doing a bag like this. Uh, you get the bag and all four straps are $74.95. Um, so I'm excited about partnering up with those guys to do some work on this product in the future. So here's a look at the, the cooler slider. So it slides all the way out so you have access to the inside of your cooler to get all your food out and everything. So that's really cool. We've enjoyed using that as a family. So that's it for the storage platform. Appreciate you guys taking a look at this. Uh, I'll give you a quick peek at the shop. Then I wanna show you a cool project that we've got around back. All right, let's go. All right, so you guys have seen the chase truck in some videos before, but what you haven't probably seen is this guy here. So this thing started out as a two-wheel drive Jeep JK. It's 07 model, and I bought it specifically to do this project with. I looked everywhere for a two-wheel drive four-door Wrangler. Uh, I don't think there are a lot of them produced, so it's pretty hard to find. But this guy has a Dana 60 in the front, uh, 08 F250. It has a 
Corporate 14 bolt in the rear from an O2 Chevrolet 2500. It's running a rock crawler, three and a half inch suspension, uh, coilovers. Let's see what else. Uh, oh yeah, it has an LS3. So it's actually an L92 from a 07 Escalade. Everything was stripped and rebuilt. Uh, it's chock full of comp cams parts, big cam, hydraulic roller rockers, all that kind of good stuff. And it runs very well. It makes very fun noises, if you know what I mean. So. Right now, it's the world's coolest one-wheel drive Jeep. Uh, still have some stuff left to do. The hubs just came in last week. So I have to throw those in, wire up the uh, compressor for the lockers. That's all plumbed in. Get the hydraulic ram on. But yeah, this thing is an absolute blast. So I'll be using it to make some products pretty soon. In the meantime, I'll be driving it and making fun noises. Yeah, that's it for the shop tour. Place is really cool. We've loved uh, moving here to Hurricane and I'm excited to be outside and not be soaking wet with sweat unlike we were in the south. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the next video comes out in the next few days. I've shot a ton of footage over the last few months and I'd like to start getting that out for you guys. So if you have any questions about the product, about the area, just let me know. I'll be glad to talk to you about it. Thanks for watching. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. So we had Trail Hero here, which is a big off-road event in Hurricane, Utah at Sand Hollow State Park. That was last week. Uh, as part of that, we had several vendor shows set up. So I was able to actually take this system out, get some hands-on feedback, and uh, uh, everything was real positive. So I'm glad you guys came out. I met quite a few of you guys that have been watching the channel. Uh, I really appreciate you coming out and saying hi. Uh, it's humbling to know that, that you're watching this and that you're getting something out of it. Uh, I hope the content gets better as I figure out more of how to do this YouTube thing. So uh, I appreciate you guys coming out and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you some more in the future. So appreciate it. All right, if you guys notice this video is not titled or tagged or anything in the description about uh, overlanding or Jeep JL storage platform. I wanted you guys to see this first before I did an official video on it because I'd love to hear your feedback on it. You know, if you like it, if, if you'd like to have one, if you've got a certain vehicle that you'd like to have it in, that'd be great as well. But yeah, I consider you guys sort of the, the insiders in the, in the AAL club. So show it to you guys first and I will do an in-depth video on it at some point in the future. At this point, I just wanted to kind of introduce it and let you guys see it and let me know what you think. So thanks.